This is the five kite train kit. It comes with everything that you need to make five complete kites and fly them on, together on one single flying line. So the first thing we want to do and look at when we're making this kite is to lay your materials out uh, like this. You have the one kite skin. You'll, you'll have four sticks for each kite. You'll have one long one, two medium length sticks, one short. You'll have two little fittings. One of them is just plain with the uh, like this with the holes on either end and the other one has a little hole right in the center. So the first thing we want to do is add your artwork to the kite. For this kite, since it's made out of plastic, you have to use permanent markers. Anything else will wipe off or, or not stay. So today we're just going to quickly add a little heart. Okay, once you've finished your artwork, you want to give it just a few seconds to dry. The permanent markers dry really quickly. And then we want to turn the kite over because we add the sticks or the framing for the kite on the back. We're going to put these two plastic fittings together. The little fitting that has a hole in it, if you can see that, uh, is the top of the fitting. So it's going to go towards the top of the kite. So we snap the two little fittings together to make a little cross. And then we're going to take the longest stick and we're going to put it in the bottom. The two medium sized sticks fit in either side. They're kind of the arms of the kite and then the short stick is the head or the top of the kite. So the first thing that I like to do here is take my scotch tape and start to get the kite ready to attach the, the sticks to the kite. So I'm going to tear off about two inches of tape and I'm going to put turn it so it's sticky side up and I'm going to put half of the tape on underneath the kite. So I'm going to lift the bottom of the kite and I'm going to put it right in the middle and let that fall down and lay on the tape. And then I'm going to take another two inch strip of tape and I'm going to put that at the top of the kite right off the top point so that half of it is underneath the kite and half of it is sticking out. And then we're going to line the spine up so that the top of the spine is right there at the very top of the point that the little hole is right over the hole in the center of the kite and then the bottom stick comes right off the bottom of the middle. And then I'm going to just gently fold this tape over onto the stick to form a nice pocket. And when you're taping you want to make sure that you press that tape down really good and get it nice and snug up against the stick on both sides. And then we're going to go back, make sure that we're lined up here in the middle and that the stick on the bottom is going right off the center. And we're going to fold this tape up and once again press the tape down so that it's nice and snug up against the stick. We don't want any gaps if at all possible. Then we're going to take another two inches of tape, one and a half, two inches of tape, and we're going to tape down the left and the right side. So again, we just come right off the left point and we're going to line it up so that we want to make sure that the stick is coming right off the point and make sure that our hole is still in the center over the hole in the middle. And then we fold it over and tape it down. And we're going to repeat this process on the right hand side. So we'll lift this up and drop it down so that the tape comes right off the point. This time we're going to pull the skin a little bit snug so this kind of smooths out the skin all the way around. And you know, make sure that we're going to make sure that the hole is still in the middle and fold the tape over. And again, taping down to make sure that that tape looks like it's been painted onto the stick. Nice and snug. Then we're going to reinforce the taping on this kite all the way around. Now we tear off about one inch of tape and about one inch from the center of the kite we're going to tape all the way around. Just turn the kite. Tape on each side. This is a wonderful little kite. It's just five kites. They line up. They're spread out about three feet. So when it's actually flying in the air, each kite uh, is three feet apart. So it covers about 15 feet up in the air. 
You can put messages on it, art. Now we've got the skin all snug down. The last thing we're going to do is add the tail. So each kite comes with about four feet of tail. I'm going to take about a half an inch of tape. I'm going to put half of the tape onto the kite tail. And then half of it tapes right at the bottom of the kite, right in the center on top of the stick. And again, I'm going to press that tape down so it fits snugly. And we're going to repeat this process with the five different kite kits. Once we have all five kites made together, then we're going to deal with the flying line. So you're going to take your winder and you're going to mark the string every three feet or about every meter. So I'm going to just measure out three feet and I'm going to take my marker and put a little mark on it. And then I'm going to measure out another three feet, mark it again, and do that for four marks. Once we have that done, it's time for us to make sure that we have all of our kites in the right order. So I'm just going to wind the string back up on the, the winder so that I don't create any knots and to keep things from getting tangled. And we'll get all the kites that we've decorated here. Unfortunately, I got a little bit of red on there, but that's okay. And then we have the rest of the kites that I decorated say, I love you. So I'm going to start with the, the very first kite in my train is going to be the I, and then it's going to be a heart, and then Y, O, U. So once I ha know I have my kites in the right order, this is going to be the first kite in the kite train. So I want this kite to be facing the winder. So I'm just going to take the string, and I'm going to thread it through the center of the kite. And it's going to go through the hole and through the hole on the fitting that you put together previously. And you just pull it through just like that and go to the next kite. Feed it through. Sometimes it helps if the twine is a little damp. Hold it together. Once we get to the last kite, we're going to tie a knot. We're going to double the string over like this, and we're going to do an overhand knot. An overhand knot is a very simple knot. It's the same knot that some people call a shoelace knot. So I have the string doubled as such. I'm going to pull it through like this so it makes a nice little loop. Once I've done that once, I want to do it one more time. And what you're wanting to do is make a kind of a, a big knot that won't pull through that little hole. So a big fluffy little knot like that. That's the last kite in our train. In the front part of the kite, we want to do another double knot. So again, just pull about one and a half inches of your kite string up and make another overhand knot. This is again just a, like a shoelace knot. Just a simple little knot and it can have a little tag like that. So you'll have a little bit of space, maybe about two inches between the two knots, but this front knot holds the kite in place. Then we'll just move down the string until we get to the next mark on our string that we marked for the three foot section and we're going to do another overhand knot. So we're just going to fold the string over in half like this and do another overhand knot. And we're going to repeat this process at every knot. We're going to do a double knot on the back to make it a little bit bigger and bulkier. And then we're going to go right to the front of the kite and fold the string over again as such and do another overhand knot. Technically, this is called a overhand knot on a bright. And there we go. And we're just going to continue down the line. So once we get to the very front kite, we're going to tie one last knot and our kite is ready to go. Now, if you do, if you'll notice, I'm sure you have, that I got red marker on my heart kite all over the place. That can be easily cleaned up with alcohol. So I'm just going to get a little bit of alcohol and clean that off. This right here, I can just get a little alcohol pad and rub that and that will come right off. And now I have my train. And if you'll notice, all the kites are trained together. This would be my flying line. And we have our five kites hooked together in one line. 
and ready for you to take outside and fly.